is excellent. He 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 is excellent. the sermon we want to drop anchor on the 40 the 46th psalm 
And maybe if God would allow me, I will preach the rest at another time. But I have to be obedient to the spirit of the living God. Y'all know me, I know you, you know me, let's go. Psalms 46. I always was taught that when you get food on the table, you're supposed to eat what you've been given. And one thing my grandmother taught me was eat everything on the plate so you can digest it well. Psalms 46, and it says, reading, God is. And I'm going to stop reading right there. I know it's not right. You may be seated in the presence of the living God. I know I did not finish it all because we've already ministered the word of God. But I came underneath the auspices of the Holy Spirit to let you know and you know God is. I, I looked at this text and the text is so, is so pregnant with possibility. The first two words he said in this verse was God is. I want you to let that marinate right there. God is. He said, God is. Understand that that's all you need. In fact, that's all it is. God is. If I can give you some Elder King um, theology, my grandfather told me that it's a blank check that's already been endorsed. So what you have to do is just fill in the blanks of what God is. I wish somebody said, in anything you need, God is. Since, 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 since I, I just need two and I'll make three. If you understand the pregnancy of this two words, God is, there is no explanation, no, no need to talk, no need to fuss and bust. It just says God is. And I want you to understand, you have to stand on the promises basis on God is. First of all, you see that the base of the text says God is. I want to give you three, 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 just three points. And I think the spirit of the living God has already moved in this place. We understand that God is a covering. I wish somebody understood that God is a covering. See, see, you may know me, but you don't know a lot of things about me. But the thing I love about God is he is a covering. He covers me when I'm weak. He covers me when I'm worn. He covers me. See, when folks lie on me and talk about me, the good thing is that they don't know everything about me. But God is. He is a covering. He, he is a covering. I came to give somebody some good news that God is a covering. See, 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 he covered you. He covered you from, from that divorce. He covered you. He covered you from being a drug addict. He covered you. He covered you from being a thought. He covered you. He covered you from being a crackhead. He, he covered you. He covered you from being an adulterer. He covered you. It's nothing like the covering grace of God. God is the present tense God is he is he is our strength and our and our, he's our refuge and our strength that's why our haters can't take me out because I'm in the refuge somebody ought to understand if we understand the in the godness the the isness of God God is somebody say God is God is a capable covering. God is. God is not only that he is a capable covering. God is a companion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a companion. See, see, if you had any people that are around you and say they say that you are ride or die, I have two nieces, Siesta and Moose, Mookie, and, that, and I could call them any time I want. You know, with names like that, you know these girls can fight. You know, when somebody seems Siesta and Mookie, you know, you call them, they're they on their way. So I have those ride or die my in my life and this mic is about to work me over but i want to let somebody understand that in the midst of going through situations and this that and the other we find that god is a ride or die somebody ought to say he is a ride or die <laughs> yeah 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 he steps in he steps in just when you need him the most he he steps 
saying just when you need him every hour, every step, every minute of the day, he is a companion. See, the situations that come up when we're looking for companions, we look for flags. There, There's flags when you look for companions. And, and sometimes when you have those things, they show their signs. See, you can't look for a companion because there's a red flag. See, you try to get with somebody, but there's a I see, I wish somebody would understand what I'm saying. You, you know, you can't depend on nobody else but God. So he is. Yay. He is. He is a companion. I, I remember when I was in school and they had a thing way before um, Facebook and way before um, Twitter and Twit and stuff. This was in the MySpace and Black Panic. You don't know about that. Um, about that time. And, and they used to bring, around that time, they used to bring in a classroom um, the TV. And in, the TV was connected to a, you know, one of those things you pull in and then if you had the right really nice school, the TV was up there and it was called, I think it was called Channel One or something like that. And, and they would do that. And there was an interesting thing that I remembered about this Channel One. And Colin Powell, late Colin Powell, told the story about, uh, um, told the story. And the question was given to the late Colin Powell. And, the, and it was said, he, the question was asked to Colin was, what, who is the president that you will remember the most? And he said, Ronald Reagan. And they asked the question, why would you say Ronald Reagan? And then Colin said, because I'm endeared to him. And he says, I'm endeared to him. And he said, he said something while I, I did something. Colin was saying that I did something in the midst of me serving. And the president said, I did it. I wish y'all could see what I'm saying. See, the President Reagan said, I made a mistake. And when it hit the press, the President took the fall. And Colin said, I, it was my fault. The, but the President took the fall. Reagan said, I did it. And I want to apologize that I did it. Colin stood there in the corner with tears in his eyes and told one of his assistants, I'll die for that man. And they said, why would you die for that man? Because he said, instead of, instead of him crucifying me, he saved me. I wish somebody would come closer and understand. That's why I love God. And that's why you know limited information about me. Because when you could crucify me, he covered me. He, he's that kind of companion that he would cover you. Just when you need him the most, just when you need everything to be all right, he's there to cover you. He is that kind of companion that you need. He is that security that you need. He's that one that when in, in the midnight hour, you ain't got to worry about who's bumping around and you ain't got to see, are you going to go down and look for it? Are you going to go down and hear it? No, 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 no. I've got some security because he's my companion. See, I remember Linus and Linus was the boy that had the blanket and everything. Everywhere Linus went, he had the blanket, and with the blanket, pass me the blanket, and when he had the blanket, everywhere Linus went, he had his blanket with him because he was he needed security. He needed he needed some security. But thanks be to God, what God does, He takes that that is securing me and turns around and covers me. He turns around and covers me. He covers me so you don't see me. Even though you see me, you don't see me. You don't see the issues that are inside of me. Thank you, Lord, for covering me. You can just call me Linus. Because I've got a covering. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. I've, I've, I've got, I've got, a, I've got a covering. But not only, not only do I have a covering, but I understand that in this third point, in this third point, and we're going home in a moment. In this third point, we find that he is a confident creator. 
Let me say that again. He is a confidence creator. See, that's why it's so important to me that when I, you have to understand when life's hell, when life has its ups and downs, and sometimes you're in and out of situations. But thanks be to God, no matter what the situation is, I came to tell you the truth that He'll never leave you or never forsake you. When you're praying and when you're fasting, He's still there to cover you. Can I get somebody to help me? Or maybe you need some Bible because the Bible says in Psalms 41 and 11 now I know thou favor is on me because thou enemies have not taken away from me in other words I'm not waiting for him he's waiting on me and he's right by my side to lead and to guide me to hold me when my when I can't make it on my own he is there Pastor Perry said the same thing I'm still here I'm still here. Not only that I'm still here, that I'm happy that I'm here because, because he is my covering. He, somebody just say, God is my covering. God is my companion. God is my confidence creator. So when I feel low in my spirit, I know I can go to somebody and he'll lean me and he'll guide me and he'll hold me and he'll keep me from all hurt, harm, and danger. I'm done. But Miss Palmer, there was a story about a little boy and a little girl. And they would go around walking around the neighborhood. And walking around the neighborhood, there was a way home. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking about him being a confidence, a confident creator. He, he is. And if you, we looked at the text, it said, if we went down, he's, it's in that second A verse. It says that I will not fear. I will not fear. Let me see if I'm saying that again. I, I will not. 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 Therefore, on the second verse, therefore, I will not fear. I will not fear. Somebody say, I will not fear. I forgot to give you my subtopic. My subtopic is... I ain't scared. So let's go ahead and go to the subtopic. So in this neighborhood, in this neighborhood, there was a dog, and the dog's name was Balbino. It was one of the most craziest Rottweilers you would ever see in your life. And the children were so afraid of the Rottweiler, and they were afraid, and they would go, they were trying to take the other way home, and they didn't want to take that way home because it was longer. But the only way that they could get home was going past Balbino. And the problem was with Balbino, like I just said, Balbino. Bino was a Rottweiler. It was Rottweiler, you know what I'm saying? I mean, them things ain't no punk, you know? So, uh, so they decided, they decided to keep going around the other way. And, and, and they went home and they told Grandma, they said, Grandma, man, this is the dog Balbino, man. I don't know what we're going to do. Can you have something we can slip? Y'all know about nothing, slipping the dog something and let the, let the dog go to sleep. And then you just keep running. You know, y'all don't know about that. That's country living. But, 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 but so Grandma was like, don't worry about Balbino. Just keep on coming home. Keep on coming home. And, uh, and then the little girl and little boy was like, Grandma, did you hear what we said? I mean, Balbino is being. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm tired of walking this way. But Grandma kept saying, don't even worry. Don't be upset. Don't, don't worry. You can go ahead and come on home. See, the thing about they, the kids they didn't know, they didn't know that grandma had a relationship with Balbino. And when you don't know, <laughs> it, 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 it will kind of jack you up. So the kids were like, okay, we're going to keep on going home. And thing that they understood was grandma wouldn't lie 
He wouldn't, she wouldn't lie to us. Mm. So one thing they did the other day, they did, they, they went on the way Grandma told them. And they decided to go towards the fence. And, and, and they went towards the fence and Bambino was still barking and growling and snarling. They went home and told Grandma the same story. And then Grandma was sitting there and said, I don't know how many times I've got to tell you to just keep on going home. Keep on walking the same way. Keep on moving the same way. Keep on going. And the kids looked at Grandma and said, Grandma, you are telling me that I still, hey, I still got to keep on going. And, 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 uh, the thing that the grandmother told the children was I know Bambino for myself. And one thing about Bambino that you don't know is that Bambino has no teeth. And you don't have to worry. I wish somebody would help me. You don't have to worry because Bambino has no teeth. He's got a big bark but he has no teeth what I came to tell you is no matter how the devil gets on your nerves no matter how the devil keeps on pulling you you still gotta keep on going because greater is he that's within you than he that's in the world you don't have to worry you don't have to get in a hurry because the Lord is on your side is there anybody here that knows that he'll fight your battles God is God is God is God is he is a way he is truth and light God is everything you need so don't worry you can make it you can take it because God is he is a rock in a weary land he is shelter in the time of storm God is God is God is yeah, is there anybody here that knows that God is, he's everything you need, if you know he is, say yeah, yeah, yeah. This week, all you gotta say, he is. When you're walking around and you feel all alone, he is. When you feel like there's nobody around you, he is. And see some people in relationships and you can't even talk to your personal person. But I came to tell you, God is. He's everything you need. He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me that I'm his own. Somebody know God is. If you know he is, say yeah. 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 Oh. As we're all standing. Somebody here. Somebody here, you may feel all alone. You may feel like all the world is gone. But I came to let somebody know that he is everything you need.
He's joy in times of sorrow. He is hope for your tomorrow. He's your peace when there's no peace of mind. He is everything that you need. He is a covering God. See, that's just like the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will just cover you. When you feel like all hope is gone, there's somebody beside you holding you up, letting you know that he is everything that you need. God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. He promised. Somebody ought to know he promised. He promised never, never to leave you. Never, never to leave you alone. There might be somebody here that's going through some situations, going through some problems, and you feel like you can't make it. You're in the right place at the right time for God to do what he said he's going to do. He's not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. He is. Somebody probably watching on, on live or somebody filming may not know who he is, but I came to introduce you to him. Whatever you need him to be, he is that. He is that. As we're standing all over the sanctuary, those that want a touch from the Lord. Maybe you don't want to come because we're practicing social distancing, and I thank God for that. But in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of what we're going on, you need to know in the shadow of the doubt that he is everything that you need. Everything. 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 We in November, it's the first Sunday of November, and guess what, you ain't laid right here. I don't see nobody. You have a right and a responsibility unto God to give him his glory and his praise. God is. If you don't remember anything else, always remember that it's that blank check. Don't you wish to have a blank check that's already endorsed and you can put any amount that you want? And guess what? You ain't got to worry about it bouncing. You ain't got to worry about no overdraft fees. It's already there. The money is already there. Your healing is already there. We thank God and bless God. As we touch and agree, I know we can't touch each other, but we can just bow our heads and we're touching a word of contact because there may be somebody on your heart and you're thinking that you know that they need to know where God is. And maybe you standing in proxy for that person, that person that needs God. Think about that person. Think about that one on your heart. And let's go to the God. Father, oh, Father. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you, God for being what you are to us we thank you for the thank you for just being god and god alone we thank you lord god for your spirit that has fallen fresh we thank you lord god for your words that have gone forth your confirmations of your words that have gone forth we thank you oh god we thank you for this opportunity now god we lift up those concerns on our hearts, God. We lift up those that are having problems. We lift up those that are watching live, God, that, that don't know which way to go. Father, we ask you in the name of the Lord Jesus to step in like never before. Be the God that you are. You are a God that never fails. You are a God that keeps your promises. You are a God that never leaves. You are a God that's always there and we thank you, God. Thank you for being there. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for never leaving us, never forsaking us. We give your name the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name. In the name that said, if I, if I be lifted up, do do the drawing. In Jesus' name we pray. Let every heart say amen. And thank God, amen, as we have our season, as we prepare for our communion at this time. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's everything that you need. Everything that you want. He's that comforter. He's that all in all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. been served. Hallelujah. Way back on Calvary, the blood that gives me strength from day same night that Jesus was betrayed he took the bread and broke it and gave thanks unto him and said this is my body which for you I do in remembrance of me and we partake of the bread now I want to do something my granddaddy used to do now mind you I know, I know a lot of people say why you got this on this was my granddaddy's and my granddaddy on First Communion, he would take the blood. If you take the blood real quick and just hold it just like this, the blood is over you. The blood cover you. The blood keep you. The blood never leave you because you're covered. I wish somebody would get this. You're covered. <laughs> I'm just taking off my grandpa's book. You're covered by the blood. One day my granddaddy said, the blood don't stink. And the blood don't stale. I hear you, King. The blood, the blood, the blood will never lose its power. So with that blood that's over us, we take the blood and we take, take care of it and drink of his blood. Amen. Oh, the blood. Gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose its power. Amen. As we're standing all over the sanctuary, we thank and praise God for His Spirit and His power. Didn't we have church this morning, y'all? God met us in this place. It took so hard for me to get up. I had to get it out of me because, I mean, Elder Perry was all in the first part of my sermon. So the next time I preach, the next time y'all hear my voice, it'll be about in times like these. In times like these, if God gives us another opportunity, if we're still on live, if y'all invite me somewhere, I'm going to be preaching in times like these. So you just know that right now. I just want to give that out for free. Amen. We thank and praise God. Amen. We thank and praise God for our bishop. Amen. Bishop Sandra McFadden Brown Weaver. We thank and praise God. Amen. We thank and praise God. We all know protocols. We're turning on facing the east right now. We thank and praise God for this service. We thank and praise God for you, you, and yes, even you. Amen. Now unto him who is able to keep every one of us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forever. Let every heart say amen. Amen. And thank God. Amen. Practice social distancing. Make sure that you're picking up your trash at this time. Amen. We have one more announcement from Pastor Perry. Real quick.